Hi, welcome back. This is Isaac, and today we're going to talk a bit about DNS servers and how to set DNS server up for yourself. So a little bit of introduction. Um, I assume that at this point in time you have a dedicated server already and you have a domain. If you're missing either of those, uh, I highly suggest that you take a look at uh, www.cheapdedicatedservers.biz uh, for getting yourself a dedicated server. Uh, we have servers starting at $29.95 a month for real hardware, not a virtual server. Uh, and if you're missing a domain, I highly suggest that you take a look at domains.cheapdedicatedservers.biz. Uh, and actually, that's a link that uh, will most likely forward to GoDaddy. Uh, but if you go through our site, uh, you will actually get special deals. Um, so we highly suggest that uh, you go through that link uh, and get yourself set up with a domain name and a dedicated server. Uh, so what's the relation between domains uh, and dedicated servers with DNS? Well, once it, it's very good and important that we have a domain. It's an important start, but we still need to tell users on the Internet how to turn that into an IP address. Now, to elaborate on this a little bit, a domain in itself doesn't do anything. Registering a domain means that you control all the information in this domain, but it doesn't contain the information itself. In other words, it doesn't contain the website or the email uh, server or anything like that. Now, every computer on the Internet whether it's servers or even the computer that you're using to watch this right now, uh, every computer has an IP address, which is a unique numeric identifier that points to your computer. So as you can see here on the screen, we're, the computer that uh, the server that we're using has the IP address 192.168.2.51. So servers need these IP addresses so that Computers like yours can talk to them and request information, and computers like yours need the IP addresses so that the servers uh, know who's asking for the information uh, and, by extension, where to send the requested information back to. However, IPs are difficult to remember and keep track of, and they occasionally change, whereas domains are static. They don't change suddenly. So DNS is a special type of uh, server. Actually, it's a service, not a server, to be accurate. Uh, so it's a special type of service which has one job, to tie those easy-to-remember domain addresses to those hard-to-remember IP addresses. That way, you just need to remember the domain name. And when you type it in, behind the scenes, a DNS server will turn it into the appropriate IP address. When you get a dedicated server, you'll be provided with an IP address, but nothing more. So now we need to take the IP address that you got from your service provider, from your hosting provider, and the domain name that you got uh, from the domain registrar uh, from domains.cheapdedicatedservers.biz uh, and plug them all into a DNS server. Now, while it's possible to host your own DNS server on a dedicated server, if you're only hosting a few domains, and by a few I mean less than five, uh, on the server, in my opinion, it's impractical. There are many solutions for hosting DNS. Uh, my favorite is ZoneEdit. Uh, and you can check that out at dns.cheapdedicatedservers.biz. Uh, and they offer the, if you go through that link, you'll get the first five domains uh, hosted there for free. Uh, and you could use them for more too, but at that point you might just want to do it on your own. So having said all that, there are two types of DNS zones uh, that we need to be concerned with at this point. Master zones and slave zones. A master zone is a domain for which the DNS server is responsible for and can change information for. And a slave zone is a domain for which the DNS server is responsible for, but it's a backup copy of a master zone on another DNS server. When you want to make changes to a domain, you'll change the master zone. You might have backup copies running the slave zones on other servers, and they'll automatically update themselves from the master zone whenever needed. Normally, hosting providers have one master and at least one slave server set up. Now, before we can start setting up zones for our DNS server, we need to make some one-time configuration changes. First of all, we need a name for the DNS server. A good choice is dns.yourdomain.com or ns1.yourdomain.com. Uh, and we say NS1 because, as we just mentioned, you're probably going to be wanting to set up at least two servers, a master and at least one slave. 
if you've ever gotten shared hosting set up with a domain that you already own, you've probably gone through the process of setting up your name servers at the domain registrar. If you want to host your own DNS server, you need to go through a one-time setup process of registering the IP addresses of your name servers uh, with your registrar. The domain registrar will want two registered name servers for every registered domain. That means you need to either set up two DNS servers yourself, one with the master zones and one with the slaves, or set up a DNS server for the master zones on your own and use a separate provider for the slaves. Or, admittedly, you can set up both name servers to point to the same server, but this defeats the purpose of having to. Now, since a separate special list of domains to IP address mappings is needed for registering name servers, it should only be done once per DNS server you set up. If you have multiple domains on the same server, you should choose one domain to host the NS1 and NS2 addresses and then reuse those names to refer to the DNS uh, as a DNS server for all the other domains that uh, that server handles. Another thing that's needed is an administrative email account for the domain server. Classically, this is going to be something like hostmaster at yourdomain.com. Uh, this should should be a real email address that will get through to you, uh, although it can be a forwarding address, and admittedly, they probably won't be used very often. But when they are needed, uh, you'll, you'll want to get that. 